design, environment and ergonomics. It is important that you know what the general issues are concerning the environment and how designers and manufacturers can minimise the environmental impacts of products. Currently we are consuming the Earth's resources such as oil, timber, metal ores etc at an alarming rate. Only timber can be replaced but not quickly enough at current rates of consumption. The process of converting raw materials, manufacturing products and then using them consumes a huge amount of energy. This in turn creates pollution and CO2 emissions which are linked to global warming. This warming of the Earth's atmosphere is creating changes in weather patterns which if unchecked will have devastating effects. In addition to this when products are disposed of they often go to landfill which wastes resources and creates further environmental hazards. Where do we come in? Many consumers are already recycling packaging waste and products when they reach the end of their useful life. Designers and manufacturers now have a moral obligation to develop, to develop products that use fewer materials and components in their manufacture, consume less energy in manufacture and in use by consumers, and to recover and reuse materials and components after their disposal. The three R's. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Ergonomics. Ergonomics concerns the interaction between the human body and products, systems or environments. Often referred to as the relationship between the product and its environment. Product designers are particularly concerned with making, pro making products which are easy to use. How does ergonomics influence design? Ergonomics is a critical factor in the success of a product. If products cannot be used easily, are difficult to set up and need complex instructions, or are difficult to maintain or simply uncomfortable to use, they will not be popular with consumers and ultimately will not sell. There are many things that affect ergonomics. These include colour, lighting, sound, comfort. We study anthropometrics. Anthropometrics involves using body sizes to improve the ergonomics in products, systems or environments. For example, designers of items such as personal stereos will look at the data for hand sizes in order to ensure that the product can be comfortably held and that the controls are positioned to allow easy operation with fingertips. Anthropometric data taken from the measurements of hundreds of volunteers is normally recorded as percentiles. The average size is known as the 50th percentile. Most design activity is for the body sizes between the 5th and 95th percentile, which would take into account the majority of the population. Inclusive design. Inclusive design concerns developing products that can be used by disabled people as well as other consumers. Very often changes in products to accommodate disabled users can have benefits to the able-bodied people. For example, more user-friendly kitchen appliances, garden tools, etc. Designers working on inclusive design products will often use techniques to give them the experience of what it's like to be a disabled person. For example, to simulate having arthritic hands, the designer might wear special gloves that restrict hand movement. Designers would also work closely with disabled people and observe them doing different tasks to identify what specific problems they have. Designing for other groups in society. In addition to designing for disabled people and the elderly, inclusive design, we can also design for children and those in the lower or upper percentile groups. Designing for children means designers must take into account smaller body sizes. Many products are specifically designed for children such as furniture, car seats, baby products and tableware. Designers designing for people in the 95th percentile group need to accommodate larger body sizes. This has already resulted in designing and the manufacture of XXL size clothing, fully adjustable car seats, steering wheels and seat belts. With all products we must concern the safety of the consumer. There are many European and international safety standards that influence the safety measures that designers and manufacturers have to adhere to when developing new products. Many products sold in the UK and Europe must comply with standards set by the British Standards Institute and the European Community. For example, toys must meet the British standard BSEN7. Toys meeting these standards would be labelled with the British kite mark. 
The British Standards Institution is an organisation that documents UK national standards for quality and safety in products and services. BSI also represents the UK in the European Union and international standards production. Companies can pay to have their products tested against national or international standards and if they meet the standard requirements and the production processes have been assessed and comply with regulations, they are awarded the prestigious BSI kite mark. The company is issued a license to use the kite mark on its products. This is a symbol of quality and safety and helps to assure c consumers they are buying a safe and consistent product. For example, safety features of a garden hedge trimmer. To allow the manufacturer of the uh, a garden hedge trimmer to receive a BSI mark, they must abide by the following. Quality electric wire that's fully insulated. A cable grommet to uh, reinforce the cable where it enters the body of the tool. A cable hook, which is a small recess in the handle which or casing of the trimmer which feeds the cable away from the blades and double switches you have to push one in and the other to allow the operation to start a dead man switch so when the person lets go of either switch it stops immediately a double insulated motor and electronic controls this means that there are no exposed electrical parts that could conduct electricity into the user a guard this is a large plastic guard that protects the user and their hands and safety instructions. All power tools are sold with safety instructions to advise consumers of their safe use.